Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Nanite Tessellation in Unreal Engine 5.4. Now, I know I've showed you how to do this with a static mesh a couple of months ago, but in this video here, we're going to be doing tessellation on a landscape. Now, just a disclaimer, there's really not much documentation on this, so I've just been kind of playing around with it here. So if I'm doing something wrong, let me know in the comments below, all right? So first things first, what we need to do is actually enable the plugin. So I'm going to go to Edit, Plugins, and we're going to type in Nanite, Displace Mesh, make sure that is enabled. Secondly, we're going to be adding two different commands in our .ini file in our project. So to do that, I'm going to go back to my Epic Games Launcher, right-click, Show in Folder, this is going to open our folder file, go to config, I'm going to go to default engine. And once the default engine is open, it should be a notepad of some sort. I'm going to scroll down to renderer settings, and we're going to be adding two commands, r.nanite.allowtessellation equals one, and r.nanite.tessellation equals one. Now, from my experience, the first one, nanite allow tessellation, you must absolutely enter in the .ini file. The second command, you can actually flip on and off because it's not read-only in Editor in Unreal Engine 5. Now, I went ahead and did all this prior so we can save some time. So here we are with just a simple landscape here. So let's go to the content drawer. And I just created a new folder here called Height. And next, what I will do is import some textures that I downloaded from Polyhaven. It's free. Um, I could have used Quixel Bridge, but I don't have much room in my laptop, so I'm not trying to download a lot of stuff because Megascans take, could take a lot of space. So I just downloaded these 8K textures. I'm just going to drag and drop it here. Now we have Diffuse, Displacement, Normal, and Roughness. Next, what I'll do is I'll right-click the Diffuse texture and just say Create Material, and the default name is fine. I will double click that. And then it looks like my window was kind of changed. So I'm just going to go to the default editor layout. All right, so here we go. And now I'll maximize this here. And what we're looking for here is Nanite. And we're going to open Enable Tessellation. Okay. Apply. And I'll also go ahead and say Use with Nanite because again, we're going to be using Nanite Landscape. And what you're going to notice is now we're going to have a displacement plug right here, which is what we want. So that being said, I'm going to pull back my content browser. I'm going to drag this displacement, this normal, and this roughness here. Sorry, my screen is really small <laughs> on the laptop, so apologize. All right, so this is our actual roughness. Just make sure here, set this to roughness, set this to normal, and we'll have our displacement right about right here. Next, what I'll do is I'll create a new texture coordinate node. And I'll just plug all this in to the UV input. Perfect. Apply. All right, and then for the texture coordinate, you can play around with it yourself. This is, it's really totally up to you, but I think I've found the sweet spot around 0.2 and 0.3. I'll apply this now. Next, I'm going to go back to the actual material here. And I'm going to scroll down until we find Nanite once again. And now we have two more options. We have magnitude and center. I can tell you right now, four by default is a lot. So again, I'll maybe set this to 0.4 instead of four. Apply and save. And we will minimize this now. So back in our editor here, let's see if we can find a good spot. Right about here is good. I will now select my landscape. right here, and I'm going to scroll all the way down and look for landscape material right here. And we will just go ahead and click and drag it there. All right. All right. After that, I'll make this bigger because I know I'm on the right side here. I will then click on Enable Nanite right here. Click on Build Data Next and just wait. All right, and right away, you're going to see that our landscape snapped. And you can see the difference. We actually get some bumps on our landscape here. And if I go to, you can auto save, I mean, out. If you go to lit, go to nanite triangles, you're now going to see that our landscape is now displaced. 
freaking amazing. Now, as you can see right here, it is still a little bit too crazy, but I wanted to do that because you can see it a little bit better. But if you want to go ahead and make this less, you just go back to the actual material and maybe set this to, I don't know, 0.2, cut that in half and minimize. So with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you all learned something new today. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year. And again, I'm not sure if this is the official way on how to do this, but it looks like it's working for me. So hopefully it'll work for you. Till then, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.